Okay, the third method that we're going to use to solve systems of equations is called the elimination method or the addition method. And in this method, what we want to do is we want to line up our variables in the two different equations, as we see here, 5x over 3x, 8y over y, and then our constants, negative 1 and 7. And we're going to be able to add the two equations together to get a new equation. But we want to fix it so that when we add the two equations together, one of the variables will be eliminated. So that's why we call it the addition method or the elimination method. They both mean the same thing. In order for that to happen, what we're going to need to do, the easiest way in this case, is going to be to multiply both sides of the second equation by negative 8. So first I'm going to copy down the first equation. 5x plus 8y is equal to negative 1. Then we're going to multiply the negative 8 times 3x, which is negative 24x, minus 8 times y is minus 8y, and negative 8 times 7 is negative 56. Okay, once we've done that, now you can see how the addition works and how one of the variables will be eliminated. So we have negative 24x plus 5y. You can use your calculator if you need to. That's going to give us negative 19. Then the positive 8y, negative 8y, they zero out. We're going to end up with negative 57 on the other side. Negative 1 plus negative 56 is negative 57. And finally, we're going to divide both sides by negative 19. And we end up with x being equal to 3. So just like with other cases, we need to take that 3 and to plug it into one of the two equations that we have. Now, none of the equations is solved for x, or solved for y, rather. Uh, so we're just going to have to take one of the equations. Let's just take the, um, why don't we take the bottom equation, which would be 3 times x, which is 3, plus y is equal to 7. So that's 9 plus y is 7. Subtract 9 on both sides, and we end up with y being equal to negative 2. So our solution is x equals 3, y is equal to negative 2. So you can see what we did here. We had to get the same variable in both equations to have the same coefficient, the same number in front of it, one of them positive, one of them negative, so that when we add the two equations together, we'll get a new equation where one of the variables has been eliminated. So we're going to add the equations. They call it the addition method. One of the variables is eliminated. This is also called the elimination method. And we'll go on and take a look at another example.